All right, so we're going to talk about Castagliano's theorem. Now, this theorem is used to find the deflections using strain energies. Uh, now, if you think this theorem is weird or strange or confusing, then you're right, because it doesn't make any sense uh, when you think about it um, in the usual circumstance. All right, now let's go down to the equation. Uh, delta equals is equal to the integral going from origin to the length of the object to the m moment of the partial moment over the partial fj or the dummy force, which will be equal to zero. Yeah, that's why it's really weird. Um, and then remember, when you do this, use this formula theorem to incorporate the uh, how the force is applied to the object, whether it's in bending, axial, or torsion. And as you can see, with each uh, different force combination, there is a different part of the formula. And you want to multiply those separate parts to the uh, uh, other integral equation, and then those two together will become your delta. So just make sure you find your Young's modulus, so the material, and the area of the object that you're um, looking at the force from. Now let's do an example to see if this makes more sense. So here's an example we have. So right now we're doing the bending um, problem. So here's a cantilever beam fixed to one end. We've got our force of Fj, which is equal to zero, and our regular force. And then we have x is from the F to the cantilever beam, and A is between Fj and F. So now let's go find our moment equation. Breaking this up, we have the F, and uh, which is x distance away, so our equation is going to be m equals to negative f, because uh, the force is going down, times our x, which is our distance. Now, uh, using the fj part of the uh, beam, go down we say um, f and fj, and our distances make another moment equation, which is going to be m equals to negative fx minus f times x minus a, because we are uh, taking the difference of x minus a. All right, now we can say that we know our m from the formula. We don't know our delta m over fj. So we know this. We don't know this yet. Let's find that still. All right, so we don't know that. Well, let's go and take a partial of our m with respect to fj. So we can say that the delta, oops, delta, m with respect to our delta, if I could write a delta, j is equal to, all right, back up here we see our fx, well there's no fj, whoops, that should be fj, there's no fj with our fx, so that's going to go away, it's going to become zero, so nothing down here. Now we have our fj, which is what we're taking the derivative with respect to, and our x minus a, well, that's going to become one, That'll say the same. Don't forget the negative sign. So, 0, negative, x minus a. This is our partial m over partial fj. Easy as that. So now we've got to make sure we multiply m times the f delta m over delta fj we just found. So now we're going to have our m that we already know, and our delta m over delta fj which we just found. So that's going to be equal to multiplying these together, push that into this right here. We're going to have our fx, that's a negative, uh, and which will be, let's take it back, it won't be negative. That'll be positive because this negative sign cancels those two out. So that's plus fj plus the, uh, wrong name. This is fx times x minus a, also plus the fj times x minus a squared. And that is our final equation. Looking back here, m times delta m over delta fj, that makes sense. And we see going back, we need to make sure we take this, multiply this whole thing by the 1 over EI, bending, uh, bending equation, to get to our delta. And so once you have your values for your fx, fj, and your x neg or your a, uh, you should be able to solve the problem. And of course, it'll vary with um, the way the force is applied to the object, but that is the gist of the uh, theorem. So not as crazy as it looks. All right, if you have any questions, please uh, put um, them in the comments below. And if you have any more um, questions about any other theorems, please let me know. All right, thanks.